Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play City Skylines. Today, I'm going to go through all 10 maps in Map Pack 2 by Sidai. And so stick around to see what I think of all of those maps and get a preview of what is in that content creator pack. So first up, we have Bay of Rivers. Now, this is a temperate map, and you can see it has a lot of beautiful detail with some of the terrain and the trees and stuff like that but also there's some really cool little details in here like you've got a little castle there and another castle closer to the start square over here but what where it really shines is farther out like over here you have what is clearly a spot for a harbor but then also over here you have the same thing where there's a ship path that comes in here and goes there and then look at this this is a road that appears to be under construction and then over here you can actually see the little construction uh taking place or like maybe it was started and then never finished but i mean i do wonder where that road would go over on the side but that is another little uh detail there and then also over this way you can see there is a spot for a truck runoff here as the trucks would be coming down they would have a, a way to come off here so there's just little things like that that make this map pretty cool to look at now actual gameplay wise let's take a look here is the start square and we are pretty flat here you have the road in there and the road itself has one two three only three connections off the map so you will have traffic going through on this uh, road here and then you've got the rail that comes in here very nicely so you don't have to go very far to get the rail and that is always nice train wise it is absolutely flat there and then you have a lot of space to expand out this way or out that way so if you're doing nine tiles you have a lot of room to build on here if you're doing 81 tiles with the mod 81 tiles 2 then you can really uh, see a lot of the detail and work with a lot of things now let's look really quick at resources as well and we have trees all over the place we have a little bit of fertile land and a little bit of ore a little bit of oil mostly though those have been used for painting to get some of the coloring on the map so that is one thing to keep in mind now let's move on to the next one Next up, we have Desert Valley. This is technically a European theme map, and we are uh, looking at a really cool bridge here. But for the most part, this is like, a, you know, there's a canyon and then there's lots of rock works and mesas over here. So it's pretty cool. It's a desert map. And I mean, obviously it's a desert map. I don't need to state the obvious, but it has some really cool rail features where it just like the rail comes over here, a very nicely done rail bridge through here. And then it curves around and curves this way. And then it actually, this one disappears, but it goes out over that way. And then there's these crop circles, which are little trees. And that is pretty cool too. You've got a couple of old farms in here, or old farmhouses, I should say. Then you've got a pretty cool interchange here. And then over this way, we come to the start square. So in the start square, you have your water, of course, so that if you don't have Sunset Harbor, you can uh, have your, your water treated there and stuff like that. But uh, then we also have the road connection that goes out one, two, three, four ways and of course it does have the uh intermap traffic through there and then there's this giant crater just right over here which is another cool little feature but uh yeah anyway then resource wise let's take a look at that you've got a lot of ore and oil right in here not very many trees on this map or fertile land so it definitely would be a lot of ore and oil that you'd be working on and terrain wise we are mostly flat right around the start square, which is what you want to see, especially if you are not using mods and you are limited to that uh, nine tile area. You have a lot of buildable space on this map, which is good to see. Now, one thing it does not have is a ship connection. So just keep that in mind if you do decide to play this one. So now moving on to the next one. 
Next up is Fertile Desert, which, as you guessed it, is, is another desert map. And it's very similar to the last one, except it doesn't have the uh, mesas and things like that. And it has a couple other things. One, it has a fertile land for where you might want to build your city. And in fact, this is the start square. We will look at that in a minute. It also has all of these like alien things. I assume they're alien, you know, like any aliens had come in here to the desert and built these things, or I suppose it could just be various artworks by some eccentric person who lives nearby. But we've got the Paradox logo here and various other things that are kind of another cool little addition to the map. And of course, the fertile area has a lot of fertile land and that you can build on. Now, the terrain or the, the road connections, we start over here, make our way down, and then there's some strange tunnels here going on, but that's okay. Comes around like that, and then it comes down this way, over, over to here, and then back out this way. So you've got several roads. At some point, if you build your city out here, you probably will want to have a bypass going there because you'll have a lot of traffic coming through here, especially if you have your city in this way. But the city itself, the start square, is pretty simple and it's straightforward. You have your way out here and you have another interchange access point over here, which is very nice to have two of those. Then terrain wise, we are pretty flat. We go up a little bit over here and we're flat around a lot. So there is plenty of buildable space around that start square. And let's check the resources. Again, we have fertile land. It actually is not as much as you would expect because the fields were painted on using ore and a little bit of oil as well. But you've got a lot of oil on this map in both, like on both sides of the start square. You've got a lot of ore as well. There is no ship path, of course, because where would the ship go? You've just got this giant lake over here and then some rivers. But uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, now we have Hilly Strait, which is a boreal map. And as you can guess, you have some major hills over here and a strait. So the ships can get through here and you've got a very flat area in the center to build a pretty major city here. Now, there's a couple things about this map that stood out to me detail-wise. You've got a couple of spots where there are fake dams, which is pretty cool. And at some point, if you are playing with mods, you can get out this way and you could put a hydroelectric plant in there. You could take that fake uh, dam out and build a hydroelectric one. Or there's another one back in here, which is another spot you could get one of those in there. So. There's a couple of cool little features there. Now, the map itself, you've got a lighthouse there. You have your uh, highway coming up through here and then crossing a bridge at the center of the street, going into an interchange and then splitting in two different directions. Over here, you have the highway split and go on either side of this river, which is kind of unusual. Then you've got the rail that comes through here and the rail does not go across the water, it stays on that side, but there's also another track on that side. So you've got a ship path going through the middle, so you've got plenty of space to do a lot of cargo ports if you want. Let's go take a look at the start square. So we're over here, and you've got a nice start square. This one would be a little bit of a challenge, because in order to utilize like, what is that, maybe 30% of the land, you need to have a bridge over to that space, which will cost you money. You should be able to expand just fine on this side and unlock another tile, but that may be a little challenge for you in that start. You do have water there and you have uh, the road, of course. Then, natural resources, you have offshore oil, so if you want to access that oil, you need to either unlock everything or you can use or you can import oil until you build up an oil area to level five and then you can have an offshore oil rig. You do have fertile land, which has been used to paint a bit. You can see coming in there and over here as well. And then of course you have a little bit of trees and I think there is just a tiny bit of ore 
yeah a little bit of ore also used to paint a bit there as well terrain wise you are pretty flat all through here that is a giant space that you can really build with so this could be a very large map but that is this one let's move on to the next one and now we have Land of the Isles. This is a temperate map, and of course you can see that it has lots of islands. There is, I mean, it, it's islands and then also mountains in there. And then of course, outside of the uh, nine tiles and 25 tile area, there's a bit of detail like these are old factories here by like an old port perhaps with rail right there too. And speaking of rail, let's make our way. Let's follow this one over to our start square. So Start Square is here, and you can see this is a very unique interchange coming into the city. You have this coming off here, going into like this interesting design, and then you also have a way over on this side. So you can eventually can build out that way, you can build out that way, you can extend this road out that way as well, and all three of those have access to the highway. Now you've got your water in the Start Square, of course, that is good. Let's take a look at the terrain. Terrain-wise, we are pretty flat around here. You could expand in several directions from that start square, which is good to see. And resource-wise, you have offshore oil, which, like the last one, if you want to access that, you can always import your oil until you reach level 5, at which point you can uh, build there. Or you can reclaim the land by terrain or terraforming and then have that be on the ground. But oh, uh, the other resources. So we have a little bit of fertile land over here. We have a little bit of ore and trees as well, but most of those have been used for painting as well. Then roads, you have the road coming over this way. Lots of cool work going on with the roads too. You can see that we go through two different tunnels here and then you come through another tunnel before going to a bridge and then curving around this rock and making the way over that way. But we do have the road it comes out this way. There's one connection, and then there is, I think just one highway going through the whole map. Yep, over to there. Then you have the rail, of course, as we talked about, and you do have ship paths. Let's see where they are. They go right in by the start square. So you have plenty of options for uh, cargo pathways as well. So that is this map. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, next up we have Mountain Plain. This is a boreal map, and you can see it's got some mountains and a plain. Well, look at that. That's how the name came about, I'm sure. But anyway, we've got this river coming through, and you can see that maybe a little history of the river or floodplains or something like that. But one thing I do note is that the train is not actually any higher, and so it, I'm not sure it made sense topographically how that would work. But anyway... Uh, Moving on, let's go to the start square over here. You can see we have a divided start square divided by the river right through the middle. So you again are faced with a little bit of a challenge here to build without having to build a bridge. Because, especially here because not only do you have the river dividing, but you have the highway dividing. So in order to get over to here, you have to cross both of them and that would be an expensive move. You might be able to expand, but you might also have a little bit of a challenge there. Now, road-wise, we've got the highway it splits over here, and you have one going down this way, and another one going out that way. Then over here, you can see it goes out in that direction. So we have a very clear highway. Rail. We have a very clear rail, too. We have one rail comes down this way and it goes out here goes under a tunnel and over here and follows that highway all the way over here then we have another one that goes out this way and eventually follows that highway so you have two rails coming through and then oh you have another one this splits and goes out that way but they pretty much follow the highways then we also have ship path coming in here and coming right into your harbor so you could build a lot of uh, cargo ports right along here and have a very beautiful harbor in your city. Now a couple of details real quick. We've got a lighthouse over here which is well done except this one ship did not quite follow the directions from the 
uh, lighthouse, or maybe that, that is why the light, lighthouse is there, I'm not sure. I also have some military trench work here that maybe there is a, a little fortress here at some point, but that is this map. Oh, uh, terrain. Yeah, we didn't go through that yet. Terrain. We are flat on this side. We go into a hill on the other side, which again encourages you to build out this way because that is the flat area of the map. And resource wise, we have not a lot. Again, it's been used for painting purposes for the most part. And that is part of how we get the color along here, though I think a lot of that is sand. So that is how that turned about. So anyway, moving on to the next one. And now we are on to River Delta. This is a tropical map, and you can see it has a lot of water features coming through, kind of like the uh, uh, the Gulf, like the, the Mississippi Delta. There we go. There were the words I was looking for, but that it, it is a little bit strange because it doesn't quite feel quite right. I don't know, but that that's just my opinion. But the map itself, let's take a look. The roads, we come in over here and go over here to the start square, which is in here. We've got a, a interchange there, and then we split, and we have two roads going off. We have the rail coming in this way, and then out in this direction as well, and a rail coming in here. We have a rail over here as well. So there's plenty of rail, and we have a ship path coming right into the start square and actually going deep into the river delta. So you can build lots of cargo wherever you want. The start square itself has a ton of buildable area, so you should be able to build out from there. You've got an interchange here, which feeds into that and is a bit of a complicated interchange, but it get, gets the job done. It's kind of like a clover leaf, but also other things. So it's interesting. But anyway, it comes over here. And then you've got your start square. Let's take a look at terrain. We are very, very flat on this map. There is like plenty of places you can go to build. Now crossing the river, of course, you would need some pretty big bridges. So you might want to aim to come out this way and stay on one side of the river if you only have nine tiles. Or you could have those bridges and go out as you desire. Now natural resources. We have oil under the river, which is interesting. We have a little bit of fertile land, we have a little bit of ore, and we have trees. But again, those have been used for painting for the most part. Detail-wise, I didn't notice too many details on this map. We do have this little here, a uh, little like guard tower or something. And then I think, I mean, we've got one lighthouse there, but this one is not a super detailed map. There's a little bit of an orchard here. And then, of course, you've got the mountains over that way. And you've got another little castle there. But yeah, that is this one. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, now we have River Plains. This is a rather flat map, another builder's paradise. And you have a giant river coming through that you can see has a ship path in it. It goes all the way out into the, the mountains a little bit. Uh, the river does. I don't know about the ship path. It does. Look at that. The ship path goes all the way through. So you've got a major river going through here. And then, of course, you've got your start square here. You have a nice smaller interchange for this one. And you have a big buildable area there. Let's go ahead and check the terrain. We are flat. We have a little bit of a hill on this side, but it's very flat going in that direction. So you have a lot of space to grow. And of course, you've got hills over here, but a huge flat area there. Resources. Again, they've been used for painting, but you do have all of the resources. Not a lot of oil on this one or ore, but you do have those as available. Now, looking at the roads, you've got a road coming this way. Comes through your start square and then goes off that way. And it does have a junction here that goes off in that direction. So you have three highway entrances or three highway access points to off map you've got a rail that comes through here and comes along just by the start square which is very handy for expanding to rail and goes off the map over there then you've got an old factory over here and of course your start square you have a little bit of water so you can use that for your sewage and your water intake all right moving on to the next one 
And now we have the Table Mountains map. This is a European map, again, with a, another major river going through it. We've got the river coming through this way, and we've got this very big bluff right here by the river, which is interesting. And maybe that's where the name Table Mountains comes from, but also it comes the river comes along this way and makes its way out there. So that is the main river. The roads come in here. You've got two entrances over there and then they come down this way to your start square with an interchange and then they go off this way as well and you go there and then it, there's another one that goes here and interestingly makes its way through this mountain and right over to here so you might be able to build in here as well rather easily or you could extend that highway as you wish to have another road there that goes in that direction now the start square again we have a pretty basic interchange here leading into a flat area you've got a lot of space to work with you've got a rail going through there which is handy as well the rail by the way goes out and follows along with that highway and it goes along the river on this side so that is where the rail goes looking at the terrain we have a nice flat area in here you would want to probably expand out this way which again would open up the possibility of wanting to bring this highway out but then you can also go in that direction you could expand along the river as well you have a lot of options there uh, natural resources we are kind of uh, skimping on those again we have a lot of painted resources to get a lot of that color variation on the map but there are some there that you can work with and of course you've got plenty of options with this map as with all of them now on to the last one okay and the last one in this pack is winding river this is a tropical map and it is a little bit tighter on the buildable area because you've got the mountains you do have a road coming in this way it makes its way out over here and to your start square. We'll take a look at that in a moment. It also comes down here so you can build out that way too. Then you have another road that goes out this way by some old factories and ports and things like that. And off map, you've got rail that comes back along here and meanders through things and then tunnels under the water over to here. And then it comes through, it has a junction here, so you have another rail that goes off that way into the valley. And one that comes in here on both sides of the highway. And then makes its way down here. Where does that one go? That is a good question, Zardis. It comes in and joins the other one. So they both come in here together and make their way down there. Now your start square is right in here. It's almost all buildable land, which is very helpful. And of course, you've got a very uh, fancy interchange here with lots of little roundabouts that you can then expand off of, like maybe put a little nature reserve back in there or build things out in this direction. You have this old castle here as well. And then you have a winding river. Probably the uh, name of the map or from the or cause of the name of the map down that way then again let's take a look at terrain terrain wise we are very flat around the start square which is what you want to see for building a large city without mobs and then if you do use mobs there is a lot of space you can build out now here we actually have land that is below sea level and this perhaps is an old quarry that is the only thing i could think of that this could be you've got a rail that goes around the outside and then you've got trench work that goes down to here and this is again down below sea level so those are possible things that that could be then out over here let's see where our ship paths go we have plenty of ship paths so you have a lot of options for uh, building with that resources wise we have a lot of resources in the start square we've got oil underneath the river again to get that painted texture and then you've got trees you have some fertile land and you've got ore out into the mountains or you could come and re uh, revamp the, that quarry and have your ore down in there so you've got a nice option here and 
I hope you've liked all of the maps in here and check out that map pack. It has been a pleasure to show them to you. Uh, there's been a lot of maps in this pack, but anyway, on the screen now, be sure to click. There is a link to the other content creator pack with maps as well. So be sure to check those out. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.